I know that, Angie. It was just too damn short, that's all. Yo, would you chill out? No, you chill out. You really expect me to believe you're not making it with this guy? Oh, honey, don't talk like that. Jesse and I just got some great news before you walked in. Yeah, we were celebrating. Oh, I can see what you were doing. I bet you could, but you're way off base, too. Ron, Ron told us that we were a big hit. Oh, honey, you should have been here. The audience went wild. Yeah, whoop de doo Oh, come on, Marty. You should be glad about it. Really? Now, why should I be glad? What she means is that she's going to be getting her full salary from now on. Yeah, honey, Ron's, Ron has agreed to pay Jesse out of his own pocket. Look, I don't give a damn who pays Tweety Bird here. What I'm concerned about is walking in here and finding you two pawing each other. We weren't doing anything. Look, you two are finished as of now. What? Watch my lips. I don't want to see you two together again, okay? Look, boy, stupid. I don't want to have to tell you again. I'm married, and very happily so. Now, it ain't that kind of party between me and Yvonne. We sing good together, and that is it. Wrong again, you polygamous punk. You sang good together. End of story. I'm going outside, and I'm going to check the audio, okay? I think you better stay here and talk to Bubba alone. Why? Why can't you understand that Jesse and I are just business partners? Business partners? <laughs> Did you hear the man? He's got a wife and a kid. Look, will you get real, Yvonne? Married doesn't mean you still don't want a little on the side. Jesse's not like that. Oh, no. Oh, well, what, what makes you so sure? Would he already turn you down? <sighs> no. Oh, you know, there's no sense in even trying to talk to you. Okay. Okay, if Jesse doesn't mean anything to you, prove it. Now, how am I... Get rid of him! You know, if you really cared for me, you wouldn't ask me to give up this job. Not when I'm finally starting to feel good about myself. Look, you want to tell him or do I? No, I'm not, and neither are you. What? Yeah, you heard me. Look, I worked hard to get this job, and I'm not going to let you or anybody else mess it up for me. Now, you listen to me. Hey, Spawn, you're on. I'll be right there. <laughs> yes, you're wrong. I, I invited you here to make a nice evening for my mother. She's depressed. Real estate business is that bad, huh? She's lonely. Okay, all right. If you want to be honest about it, I did have an ulterior motive. Now, how did I know that? Would you listen to my new idea for the show? What you, that, that's your ulterior motive? Maybe you misjudged me. Here you go. Take a look. Sex? You've heard of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, just not on my show. Well, why not? Come on, name one other subject that has such universal appeal. Okay, I'll give you that point. Dr. Cliff Warner answers your questions about human sexuality, your sexual problems, your fantasies. Dr. Warner separates fact from me. No, okay, I got it. I, I got it. See, there are a lot of people who are uninformed about this. You might not believe it, but the subject of sex frightens some people. It embarrasses them. And I don't suppose you're one of those, are you? Very astute of you. Okay, so uh, how am I supposed to be informing the uninformed masses? See, it is just perfect for the show, because over the telephone, people will ask you questions that they would never ask a doctor in you person. You really have thought about this, haven't you? Mm-hmm. We could do a whole series on it. The ratings, oh, they would go through the roof. Yeah, I'm sure they would. I'll think about it, okay? Give me a yes or a no. Liza, it is an okay idea. But I am not a psychiatrist, and I am not a sex therapist. You're a doctor. Isa, you just don't think I'm the right guy for the Hello, job. hello. Oh. Mother, you're Hi. back. Yes, yeah, sorry I'm late, and I'm glad I got here before you left, Cliff. Ah, oh, that restaurant took so long, I thought I would never get home. Well, I'm sorry we missed you, too. I know Liza was disappointed. Oh, was she? I was too darling. I was disappointed. Well, anyway, you missed a great dinner. She's a very good cook. Yes, Liza has many talents. She never ceases to amaze me. Mother, you look very tired. Oh, do I? Well, <laughs> no wonder with the week I've had. 
Anyway, I would love to stay and talk to your mother, but oh. uh, I do have to go. Oh, don't. Oh, I do hope you're not leaving on my account. No, 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 not at all. Actually, I stayed on your account, uh. but it is getting kind of late. Anyway, good night, Mrs. Colby. Good night, Cliff. Oh. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh. Bye-bye. Good night. Well, thanks a lot, Mother. Zach, I can't understand why you're so upset. Nina. I've always been careful not to allow physical desires to mess up my head or impair my ability to work with others. And tonight I was... But nothing happened tonight, Zach. Nina, you know very well something might have happened tonight. Zach, all I know is that I was in a lot of pain and you came over here and you cured me. I'm very grateful to you for that. Don't you understand? I am right on the edge of taking advantage of that gratitude. Zach, no, don't do this to yourself. Now, let's just forget about... No, I can't forget thing. it, Nina. I've just discovered something about myself. But I have a very deep, unconscious desire for you. And I've been blocking it probably for months. Oh, Zach, that's not true. Yes, it is true, Nina. And it's a very dangerous thing for somebody like myself with my gifts. So easily can be misconstrued. It's a form of manipulation. Zach, what are we going to do? Nina, your friendship means the world to me. I feel just the same way about you. But I can never see you again. I don't blame you for being mad at me. Mad? Me? Just because I quit my job at the Chateau, put a deposit on an apartment over in King's Cross so I can be near you because you plan to move there? Why should I be mad? Mark, I was going to tell you. Really? When? After I'd moved? <sighs> Look, it... You have to be honest. I didn't ask you to leave your job. I didn't ask you to move to King's Cross. You sure as hell didn't dissuade me. Well, I tried. You're right. I'm sorry. I really should have told you. I should have told you when I, when I made the decision. Why didn't you? Because I just didn't want to go into it right then. Oh. This is great. Mark, look, I was confused. A lot of things have happened to me. And between you and Tom and, and Aunt Phoebe trying to tell me what I should do with my life, I finally had to decide what was going to be best for me and Laura. All right, so obviously you think coming back to Pine Valley is best, okay? Yes, I do. And we're going to be moving into the carriage house in a couple of days. Where does that leave me? Mark, look, I can't take responsibility for you because my first, my first priorities have to be with my daughter. Well, let me tell you, in King's Cross, that's where it leaves me. Is that what you want? Brooke, I want to be near you. The whole subject of King's Cross would never have come up if you hadn't said you wanted to stay there. Well, maybe you could call Ellen and see if you could get your old job back. Oh, damn it, Brooke. You are the most important thing in my life. You are more important to me than any job. All right, I want to know something, and I want to know it now. Do we stand any sort of a chance? There you go. Thank you. Mm. That's good. That taco to something you never outgrow. <laughs> In high school, Jenny used to make this all the time. We were studying together, you know, coming back from ice skating and stuff. You know, I taught her how to ice skate, did I tell you that? You know that? <laughs> of course, I remember. Don't you remember the first time we all went skating together? Jesse yeah, and yeah. Jenny were having a contest to see who could stay up the longest. <laughs> right, right. I will never forget Jesse's expression when he fell first. <laughs> that, was so, that was fun. You know, it's funny how much the two of them had in common. I mean, you and I started skating when we were four years old. Uh, Jenny had never even seen snow. Well, Jesse only knew how to shovel it. <laughs> I mean, he never had a sled or skates. Things that you and I took for granted. Oh, those were good times, weren't they? The four of us together. I'm getting nostalgic. Is Miller's Pond frozen over yet? I, I haven't seen the kids on it yet, so I don't know. Well, how about the three of us going skating as soon as it freezes over? Yeah, that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, we should do so. that. I wonder if... Uh, what? Nothing. Uh, 